Hello guys, what's up? This is Kong and today I'm back again for another movie review for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. As the name implies, it seemed to be grander, it seemed to be all oh, wow, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Half of it is true, half of it is not. So right, let me get to it. I'm going to talk about the pros and I'm going to talk about the con. alright? So the pro, the first half of the movie is great. Uh, the visual, the, uh, the the alien, the creatures, uh, the world design, it's just beautiful. The CGI is so great. Uh, almost realistic. It's almost to the level of Avatar. Almost. And that's that's saying something about this movie. Uh, the, like I said, the creature, the dimension, the world, the aliens, the guns. Uh, I think the most intriguing thing is the the dimension. You know how they go to this and then it's actually another place, another dimension. But when you look from outside, it's actually just a desert. It is like mind trip. It's like, what the heck? But it is really cool. It's really unique in its own way. And the 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 uh, the city, not really city. It's more like a city of planets. Uh, you get to see the the different races. It's just so interesting. Uh, let's see. I like the three little the three uh, kind of duck like birds, humanoid. They have intel. I like them because they are really unique. They really they have their own characters. Um, it just they're interesting to me at least. Uh, what else? Rihanna as Bubbles. Uh, I love the dance. Girl, you are dancers that's all I gotta say about her uh, she did a great performance her voice acting was great spot on too it was like wow I wish she was part of the the crew part of the team because she has so much character she's she has she's a shifter basically is she's a shapeshifter and she's that scene like was great it's Probably like outdo the half of the movie. The, the the second part of the movie is just like, and it felt great because I'm like, oh man, I really like her now. Like, wow, she, she to me like I feel like Rihanna had potential, uh, to get into acting. That's how I feel like, not because of the dance, but her voice acting was like it was great. It was like. Wow, she she was a, a lovable character. She was a a, a a good genuine alien to me. It's like wow, this is great. Uh, the pearl human, you know, they uh, they live in harmony with Earth. Uh, it's kind of the ironic because uh, we're the opposite of them, you know, and they give it back to the Earth. Uh, I like the little creature that like poop a million. Uh, pearls into this. Um, I get this dispensary back to their home, to the to back to their planet. Uh, I like Ethan Hawking. He was just like crazy, just going out at the piano. I thought he was enjoying his time. I thought it was great. I liked it a lot. So all of that is great. The world, the creatures, and everything that I mentioned is is great. It's phenomenal. It's like great visual. Second, uh, the con. Second half is, I don't know where it went. It's like it sidestep, so many sidestep, and I feel like it, it didn't, doesn't really focus on the main characters. You know, uh, Valerian. I don't remember her. The, the the sergeant. His, you know, his uh sub his subordinate is actually his lover. The girl. Uh, their the characters suck. Their chemistry suck. I don't care for them because they just don't have the chemistry. He's not charming. He's not charisma. She's just... She's not really anything to me. Like I feel like she's just there to fill in the, the void. So doesn't have that. I guess that a spark in those characters. The chemistry I guess. Uh, the commander uh, of that plan, the commander doesn't seem to be. He's not. He doesn't look convincing. He's 
kind of like generic almost so it's like okay uh the biggest thing is the plot of this movie like uh first you know when they're the humans are fighting i guess this other a alien and they're first they're fighting in like close to orbit like why would you fight in close orbit because one is dangerous you get pulled in the atmosphere obviously the movie even show that the ship was falling down to due to the gravity pull it's like what the f what are you guys thinking what are the writer thinking or so what else uh the major go to the strip mall prior to uh the, i got these giant that caught his girlfriend and they put her in a basket and couldn't get there because he saw the uh um he saw uh, the the strip mall a strip mall i guess you can say stripper club mall and he's go there but how did he know that rubble ruble or bubble is there that she, and how i know that she is a shape shifter maybe in a comic book he knows but in this movie they don't tell you squat because like how did he know where to go yes he is a soldier so he has some intel but like come on you gotta give us a little bit uh tidbits here to tell us make up believe that oh yeah he have this intel it should make mention that oh like he look her up and then found her that would have been convinced it's like okay i can i can i'll buy it but it showed none of that so it's like plot, what why but the dance was great wow but on to the con the plot uh why the major's girlfriend just escaped the big basket it was so big she could have just gone through it i don't know why don't ask me why i don't know why let me see how does the jelly know where the major is even though it wasn't there when the whole event happened it was there but it doesn't know that the major had crashed how does it know and yes i can understand i sort of believe that it does read the major's girlfriend's mind i guess seeing through her eyes yes but it can't know where he landed it so it's like yes there's something special about this alien this jellyfish but there's no explanation to it so maybe i'm missing something i don't know but if to me it feel like i'm like i sort of don't buy it i just went along so what else did i uh see how the heck did bubble die they f okay so they fell down the uh the, i guess you can call the the trash bin kind of like what they uh han and leia and chewie fall down in star star wars and they fall down to the trash trash compactor she somehow dies what how did she die prior prior to seeing those giant was stabbing her she was like moving around and then she died the compactor and it's like what the f what the hell what the heck it's, it's such a waste of character this character is so it's great and rihanna she deserve she deserves to be in that role you know her voice is great too it's like it's just wasted instead of focusing on two other characters should probably focus on bubble that's just my opinion uh what else uh the pro human survive the implosion of their planet i don't know how one would survive an imploding planet or exploding planet how do one survive that yes they were in the ship but the ship would not be able to withstand the explosion of a planet no one can unless a superman then yes maybe you'll be able you'll be able to survive but other than superman they should be incinerated you know burned to the crisps turned to ashes but no they did not instead they go on this they're exploded they're floating in this in space and yada yada then they somebody found them they arrived at the alpha uh, the city of a thousand planet and it's just like uh i don't buy it you know kind of wish th these alien people have their own plan their own uh, like their own rocket ship they i mean they're advanced aliens 
they should be able to be create the spaceships and you know, so forth and have us escape a, a, a spaceship. Then I would have bought it. Like, okay, these aliens are smart, they're fast, they're intelligent, but yet they live a simple life. I believe that, but no, they didn't do that. It's like they survive, they go in the ship and they survive. I just don't believe it. It's like logically, it's like doesn't make sense. You know, when they're exploding, we're talking about an exploding planet. You know, and that's just that's not even a a, a star or a sun that's just a planet it should have like obliterate all life and they did say that it did obliterate all life but those few people should not have survived in those ship because the magnitude of the force of this planet exploding and a story uh, what else uh, top general the acting commander that took place of the commander he didn't have access then he got he was granted access, but he couldn't get access. It's like what the? F you are the top commander. You have no access unless the other guy put top top access on that file. But none of that was explained anyway. So it's like what? I thought you were acting commander. You become a commander. You should have all access. Even the guy, the top general, even said, "I grant you access." So, I'm like, whatever. And the endings suck. That's the thing. Okay, so these pearl people, they escape. And they are in this, uh, I guess, this, this old school uh, human space uh, capsules, you know. And they're in there, and then he's like talking to her, trying to sweet talk to her, so forth, and yada yada, trying to propose to her. It just didn't do it. it didn't really connect. It didn't really have that. Uh, 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 like a man proposing to his 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 woman, or uh, the woman of his life, they didn't really have that. It felt so normal. It didn't feel special. It didn't feel it was a uh, a meaningful proposal to her. And even her response is like, okay, it's like, come on, this is the guy who trying to prove to you, and you are you like him. Yeah, you just took it as a normal yes. It just it felt it. It doesn't feel special at the end. It doesn't feel uh, beautiful. It doesn't feel interesting. And lady, let me know. Uh, all those uh, married lady, let me know how how was your reaction when your your husband proposed to you. Let me know because I'm a single guy. What were you feeling when you, uh, when your husband proposed to you? Were you happy? Were you sad? Were you exhilarated? What what was your mo what was your emotion at the moment? To me, at the moment that the, he proposed, it felt trivial. It felt so just another task for him. It doesn't feel like it was it was it was a uh, uh, that he meant it. It felt like just playing to me. So this movie, I like the first half up to the whole, up to where Bubble dance, uh, dancing. I like the first up to that. I love the dance sequence. It's like, girl, you are great. The rest is like, I don't know what happened. It's just it, it it's just too many too many plot holes. And it just doesn't feel great. It doesn't believable. So, on that final note, I'm gonna give this movie a five out of ten. A five out of ten movie. Don't go if you don't want. You don't want to. I mean, if you like action, five sci-fi, then I would. I would rec I would say you know go if you have the time. But don't go watch it if you don't want to. Okay. So I'm gonna say thank you guys for your for coming along, listening to me, paying, looking at me. Uh, thank for your time and effort. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. Please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe to my YouTube channels. More content to come, of course, for you guys. Take care.